great. Look at this though. This was the coolest garden center ever. They had these amazing flower pots. I bought a tiny little one to start some peonies. No, they're like poppies to start some poppies growing. But look at all of the variety. These are succulents. There's orchids. So many incredible, incredible flowers. And it just inspired me so much to create so many different paintings. I love the patterns on the leaves. And me and my husband just had a ball going and looking through every kind of plant. It is this giant place. And all of the flowers were just exquisite. Exquisite. Probably what inspired my entire week of this vlog. So enjoy. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to the vlog. Um, here's my hair today. I just got home from a part-time job and I am excited to curl up with some paintings. I've got my brew doctor tasty and fizzy probiotic tea. I've never tried this before today. And it's really, really good. It's a little bit lighter than regular kombucha. Um, it has kombucha culture in it, but it doesn't taste as strong and fizzy. And this is the super berry one. It has raspberry, blueberry, and oolong, oolong tea. I am working on some different paintings this week. Uh, we went to this huge garden center over the weekend. Got so many photos and am inspired by all the florals. But I wanted to really try just a different medium to play around with. I want to use my oil pastels that I have from art school. And I already started with acrylic. So I finished a painting. They are small scale, probably like three inch by seven inch paintings, roughly around that size. I'm going to be selling the originals, I think, on my shop, on my website. And I'm going to... Um, possibly do prints of them. They're small enough that I could scan them in. I'm going to do a poll on my Instagram, but yeah, it's rainy here today in Ohio. Right now it has stopped, so I'm probably going to go inside while I still can, but yeah, time for art making. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello, it is voiceover me. It is raining pouring outside right now so if you hear rain that is why apologies but this is actually the second day of me painting this mini painting I was talking about earlier and these are one of the kinds of leaves that it was inspired by they're actually called nerve plants and they have these stripes almost on them but it looks like a checkered pattern and I figured out how to paint them you just put another line um, in between the horizontal lines you put vertical lines and it really looks like them but while using this first brush I realized that it is just not small enough so I actually pulled out my Windsor Newton watercolor brush and I've never really used it before actually I've had it since Christmas my husband has used it more than me with painting something he was working on so this is actually my first try at it and I really really like it I mean you can see how much thinner it is I think sometimes in the past I've painted and I've thought wow uh, this sucks but really I was just using the wrong size brush so little tip for you use the right brush size it helps um, and I'm just gonna speed up some of this painting or I might not actually I'm not but I wanted to talk about the yellow that I chose in the middle so I really have been inspired by lemon patterns lately and so I wanted to use that bright lemon yellow and I just stuck it in the middle give it a pop I've been using my golden acrylics mixed with a couple other random ones I have in my drawer here some are Walmart brand pretty sure the yellow is a Walmart brand paint um, 
but this was just so satisfying but I also have this habit of starting a painting and getting really inspired and then after a couple coats of it I get bored and I want to start something new and I go back to it so it's kind of in that pile right now of I'm going back to paintings so I'll probably finish it up next week hopefully we will see but I really only get the one white layer down on this and I'm going to do a second white layer as well I think and I like the light green in the background but I also might change the background I was thinking of it to make it black I was thinking of making it black and but then I thought the dark green leaves would be washed out welcome to today I <coughs> excuse me I am standing here in front of my back door because it has great light and I'm by a few of my cats next to the cat tree. It is Tuesday, April 18th. And I had some unexpected work today. So I'm going to try to do a little sketchbook page, excuse me, and I'm going to take you along with me and show you that. Um, but yeah, so follow along. I'm back in voiceover and this is a little five minute sketchbook page that was all the time I had to draw for this day and I had already drawn this fashion illustration and I decided to just go in and put some fun little details also I'm humming so I did some stripes and then I did some flowers because why not on this jacket and I really love my micron pens and I was feeling feeling very penny very penny this day. What are you doing? <clears throat> Can you pay Toby? Hi. Ow, 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 ow. Um, I am outside today. It is Wednesday, April 19th. The sun is clearly shining. It is beautiful out. And so I figured I would kill two birds with one stone. I would get the much needed warmth I've been wanting today while also working on my sketchbook. So you will see later in the vlog me working out here in the sunshine, which with incredible lighting um, as my cats watch me from the window and as I'm in front of this amazing tree. These could be apple blossom trees. They might not be. They're not cherry blossoms, but I do know that. 
Um, and yeah, I really want to paint today, but I don't want to paint outside because there's a cat who's out here and he likes to sit on my lap or drink water. And I just feel like it's not, it's not going to work out that way. So I will draw outside today instead in my sketchbook and yeah, we'll go from there. This is a coral infused orchid, I believe. And I found some flower inspo online and I just really wanted to draw these in pencil. I just love going back to pencil all the time. It feels like the best medium for me and you can just go in really, really well with all the details, especially with these mechanical pencils. I forget what the brand is, but it's actually a brand made by artists and I have them in the bottom, in the bottom, in the description of another YouTube video where you can see me talk more in depth about them. Not sponsored at all or anything, but yeah, these pencils, I just love the lead of them and you get like four different kinds in it. So you can switch it up depending on how you are shading something so that it works for you. But while starting this sketch, I wasn't really feeling these after making these two. So I decided to start drawing some flowers from the tree behind me. And I really didn't like the sketch after I did that. And wow, that's thunder. Do you hear it? Wow. So, yeah, I basically started drawing the tree behind me. Didn't like it. And then was looking at the flowers on my shirt. Because my shirt has what looks like pencil drawn flowers. It's a vintage shirt. Maybe someone made a pencil drawing and they put it on a pattern. I, I don't really know, but that's what it looks like and that really inspired me. So you're gonna see that because I skip over a bunch of this and I show you more of the final bits of drawing these. And it was just such a nice day out. These are the, the apple blossom trees in our yard and these were the flowers I did not enjoy. But this day was very warm and sunny so so nice and I was feeling it I also felt like I couldn't see by the time I was done drawing even with wearing sunglasses but yeah I will leave you here in this section and talk to you in a little bit
yeah, at this point, I am tired from sitting in the sun. I had a mid-life crisis midway through and cut my shirt. Um, not a mid-life crisis, but really a creative outburst. And yeah, I made these flowers and I like them. Some of them were inspired by that tree. Others were by this vintage shirt I got thrifting. And this might become a print in my shop. So that's all for drawing today. Don't know what's going on with my hair. It just needed to be up so my scalp didn't get sunburned. This is Friday, April 21st, and I'm pulling out my watercolor sketchbook. I have a lot of fun things I've tried in here, and this time I got really inspired by my morning walk. I went for a morning walk this morning. It was so nice. The birds were chirping. The sun was just starting to feel warmer as I was heading back, and I saw this field and the way the sunlight was hitting it, and it was this lush green grass already, and I just had to paint it. So when I came home, I pulled out my watercolors, and here I am, taping it up, and I'm just gonna do a mini watercolor landscape, which I really don't do landscapes often at all, but sometimes I get a little nudge for them. I'm not, as you would say, a landscape artist. So it's not super realistic, there is some realism in it, but not not very much. You can kind of tell what things are, but this is also my favorite palette. I found it on Amazon and it's a rose, but I don't recommend filling your palette and laying it dry like that because some of my paints actually come off the bottom. And so it's not really sticking to the ceramic palette. So I guess next time after I fill this all up, I will just put the paint I'm using at the moment and then I will clean it all out before I use it again but I really loved making the clouds in this piece and I loved going really quickly that's one of my favorite things about watercolor how quick it is and you can just go from light to dark really fast especially when you don't have a lot of water on your brush it helps it just dry a lot quicker in my opinion and so I just got to color block it out took a break, met Jamie for lunch, and I resumed it, and I honestly didn't actually feel well later this afternoon, so it took me a really long time to edit this video, but I'm going to speed this up, and I will catch you at the end. And that's gonna wrap it up for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for hanging out, for watching me make some art. Hopefully you made some art too. Let me know below what you were doing while watching this video. If you were doing anything, I'd love to find out and I'll see you next time. Bye.